Today we're gonna to talk about the skin on our neck and how we can prioritize certain ingredients so that we can improve its texture, its tone, we can improve fine lines and wrinkles on our neck, we can improve hyperpigmentation, and also maybe soften the necklace lines that we get from repetitive motion. I wanna focus on the ingredients so that you can look through your arsenal and maybe prioritize products that contain those ingredients so that you can get some results with things that you already own. The other thing that I I'm going to share with you today is my holy grail neck cream that I've shared for probably three years now and then I want to share with you the product that has recently replaced that and I'm really excited about it because it's less than half the cost and you get more product so that's always a fun one this is one of those things that is near and dear to my heart because the skin on my neck really has bothered me for a long time. Now, I had a neck lift, and so that addressed a lot of the laxity on my neck. But that should not be confused with treating the actual skin on your neck. You can lift your skin all you want, but if the quality of your skin still has a crepiness to it or a crepey nature to it, maybe it still looks a little bit like chicken skin, if it has hyperpigmentation, it doesn't matter the amount of lifting that you do, the skin still isn't going to look great. So this is the way that I treat the actual quality of the skin on my neck, and I feel like I've gotten some really great results with the things that I've used and these specific ingredients. If you're new here, my name is Penny. I'm a master esthetician. I hope you will consider subscribing to this channel before you go. If you love skincare as much as I do, this is the place for you. Okay, so the ingredient that we're gonna talk about today is glycolic acid. This is not a new ingredient. It is not ultra sexy, but let me tell you, it is effective and it is really, really great at treating the skin on your neck. If you are not using glycolic acid in some part of your routine, you're missing out on an ingredient that is proven to thicken our epidermis, proven to stimulate collagen, proven to help with texture, and proven to improve hyperpigmentation. I would even say that glycolic acid-based products have made more of a difference to the skin on my neck than retinoids have which is pretty crazy. So let's look at a study that I found recently that talks about that. Basically this study took, a, um, took some skin that was removed from a woman's arm after she had had like an arm lift or something. They took that skin and they put it into a cultured medium that basically kept the skin alive for several days, if not like a week or something like that. And each day they applied a solution, whether cream or gel, of glycolic acid and they applied it in various concentrations and various pH. So what they did was they were measuring epidermal thickness, they were measuring dermal thickness, they were measuring the effect that the glycolic acid had on that skin over time. Now it was a very, very short amount of time before they saw that glycolic acid does indeed thicken the stratum corneum, so the outermost part of our skin. It improves the texture and it thickens the dermal skin as well. Now, pH is very, very important. And in fact, this study was looking at the way that pH being adjusted adjusts the efficacy of the glycolic acid. So what they found was pH adjusted to about four made the glycolic acid be less irritating and also effective. Go any higher than that and you start to lose efficacy. Go lower than that and you get more efficacy but you risk irritation. So four seem to be kind of the sweet spot and they do say around four. So around four is where you wanna be when you're looking at the pH of glycolic acid and its effectiveness. So the product that I have that has been my holy grail forever has been this Neocutis Neofirm. I have shared this for probably three or three and a half years now. And I share it every single, you know, skin store sale or if there's a sale on Amazon where they discount this, you know, that kind of thing because it's expensive. It is 1.69 ounces and it's like, 130 or $135. So I always try to get it on sale. And I would say that one of these little things lasts me two months, two and a half months of consistent use. So this one has been literally one of the only nut creams I've ever recommended on this channel until I did my brand overview of Dermalect. And in that brand overview, I bought a 
a lot of their products. And one of the products that I bought was their self-esteem. This is the neck firming lift. Now I mentioned in my product overview that this had really dethroned my neocutis. I got to thinking about it and I was, I was wondering why, why is this just as good as this? Like, what is it? Lo and behold, of course, it's because it contains glycolic acid. And that makes so much sense to me. Now, this one actually has glycolic acid. It has lactic acid and it also has salicylic acid. So it's got a blend of alpha and beta hydroxy acid. So what you're going to get from that is you're going to get a retexturizing of the skin, which should not be under underestimated. Like a retexturizing of the skin on our neck means you're going to get more smooth skin. It's going to look more supple and it's also just going to look, it's just going to look better. Retexturizing is really, really important. Now something else that this does and does very, very well is it helps with hyperpigmentation. So these are things that you can actually see a change in your skin. Collagen formation, that's hard to see. That's hard to quantify as a user, right? We just kind of hope that that's happening. I'm telling you glycolic acid helps with collagen formation. We all say, okay, but we really can't tell if that's happening or not. It's kind of, you know, maybe, but hyperpigmentation improvement and the improvement in texture and tone, we can see that. That's what the products with alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy acids are going to do for us. Now the cherry on top of all of this is that this is full price, $59 for two ounces. And this one is, like I said, 130 or $135 for 1.69 ounces. So you get a little less product for more than double the amount of money. Now, both of them offer discounts sometimes. That's why I never paid full price for this. I always got it on discount. But that's the same for this. So you can kind of compare them at full price knowing that you could get them a little bit less expensive, either one, right? So I wanted to tell you a little bit about the pH of each of these products because that seems to be, especially from the study that we just talked about and from my basic knowledge of glycolic acid, super, super important. So I pulled both of these and I pulled out some pH test strips to kind of see where they fell in the range of pH. So remember, in order for it to be effective and really effective, we want it to be around four. When you start ticking up higher than four, Four, you go down in efficacy. So the NeoFirm, when I ran it, it ran somewhere between 4 and 4.5 on the pH scale. The Dermalect ran somewhere between 3.5 and 4. So the Dermalect is a little lower in pH, so it's going to be a little bit more effective as far as the alpha hydroxies are concerned. And honestly, when you get down to a 3.5 pH, it's still a high enough pH that I find there's zero irritation. Get a little bit too low and you definitely can get some irritation from glycolic acid, especially when we're talking about the neck. So overall, I really think that this product outshines this product on multiple levels especially because it's super effective. I've been enjoying it and it is a lot more affordable. I want to make something clear. $59 for two ounces is still pretty expensive for a lot of people. A lot of people are gonna say, hey, that is still way too much money for me to buy a specific neck cream. So for that, I went off searching for a, an even more affordable alternative to this one. I did place an order and the product is arriving today. It is by the brand Bay Body and the ingredient deck looks really, really good. As soon as I test the pH, I'm going to put the information into the description box along with any pertinent kind of like, how did I feel about the consistency, etc. As long as that pH comes in, it may be an even more affordable alternative for those of you who don't want to spend your money on either one of these products, but would really like to incorporate glycolic acid in a cream form specifically for the neck. Okay, so how do we use these products? Like when do we fit them in? I will tell you my routine. My routine is this. I do a PM with the self-esteem. This is the Beauty Sleep Serum. You guys have heard me talk about this a bunch. I love this so much 
that now what I'm doing is I'm doing a retinoid night and then this night. I literally just alternate two nights. So I never use this along with a retinoid. I use this on its own. Now, because I love my peptide night moisturizer from Dermatology so much, the way that I use this at night is I do my skincare on nights that I'm going to use this sleep serum. I do it early. I, I will do it right, right after dinner. So let's say 6.30 at night, 7. I will cleanse my skin and I will put this on and I do my face and I pull it all the way down. This has glycolic acid. This also has lactic and it has ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C. This will improve the skin on your neck and your decollete as well, just like on your face. Those are great ingredients to see in a product for your neck and neck. So this is great for that. You don't even have to get a neck. If you have this and you're using it on your neck and your deck, that's awesome. So I put this on. Then I just go about my evening for a few hours. So, you know, whatever I have to do in the evening, I just wait a couple hours. Then I go ahead and I put on my Dermatology Peptide Night Cream. And I always follow that up with my Dermatology Soothe and Recovery. I put a generous amount of that over the top. Now I am using a couple different eye creams at night. On nights that I am using retinoids, I use the Beauty of Josun, the retinaldehyde eye cream. On the nights when I'm using this, I'm using my One Skin eye cream. I love that eye cream. I'm gonna do a whole deep dive on it. I just think it's really great. It's their proprietary peptide, and I feel like it makes a great change. The thing about it is glycolic acid can break the bonds of peptides. So because it can break the bonds of peptides, it can cause them to split up into amino acids where they're just less effective than they are as an actual peptide chain of amino acids. So anytime that I'm using glycolic acid, I just have a long wait time before I put on anything with peptides. I'm a huge believer in peptides. I really, really think if you are over 40 years old, you should be using peptides. And I don't wanna give them up in order to use products with glycolic acid. So on the nights that I use this, I just wait a few hours after, then I go on with my routine. I realize that that sounds high maintenance, but actually washing my face and putting this on takes like three minutes at the most. And then I just go on with my evening and I just finish off with my peptide night cream, my eye cream and the soothing recovery. And that is my entire routine on the nights that I use this. The next morning when I get up, that is when I put this on my neck along with the rest of my AM routine. I am going to do a full AM PM routine. So I'll go through all of it. I'll demo it, all that stuff that's coming very soon. But this is in the morning. It is a very silky texture and I find that it blends right into the skin. It does not leave your skin feeling sticky or like it's got a bunch of heavy moisture on it or anything like that but it definitely leaves the skin feeling really hydrated, moisturized, and you cannot feel you know, any acids or anything like that. I don't notice that it's particularly irritating or tingly or anything like that. So I'm really, really enjoying it, but that's how I'm using this then in the AM. So that's kind of my routine for my neck right now, pretty simple. Now, I do always wear sunscreen all the way down my neck and that is really really important i mean it's it, these days that seems like a toss out phrase everybody talks about spf it's super duper important if you have a routine that contains alpha hydroxy acids that you're diligent with your sun protection so that you don't cause yourself more damage than the good that you're doing by using these products Okay, I am gonna share in the description box what I think of the Bay Body as soon as it arrives and I can feel it, I can test the pH, and I can give you a little bit of a lowdown on it because like I said, it is like, okay, uber expensive, expensive-ish, and then we've got Bay Body that will be an affordable alternative. And I think any one of these, if you get them on board, are excellent options. Now, it's important to note that Dermalec does have this other one. I got the one in the pot. And this one actually also tested at a pH around 3.5. So this one is, is indeed a very viable option as far as Dermalect is concerned. And this one is less expensive. I think it's like $42. So if you are interested in trying the Dermalect but you don't want to spend quite as much, 
this one is definitely a viable option as well. I hope that what you took from this is glycolic acid is your friend and it will help your neck to look better. Look through your products, assess the products with glycolic acid, patch test a little for irritation, and try using glycolic acid on your neck and see how it can improve that skin. Always hydrate the skin and always, always, always use an SPF during the day. I hope that this video was helpful. I hope you're having a really wonderful week and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.